They should be starting right here. We just got them counted in and here we go. Uh, this is this is always this is phenomenal to me the fact that Dino ha is such a strong player in the game and also runs things on the back end. He, he's doing it both right now. You can see him looking over on a side monitor right now in his cam, probably getting things lined up. He's gonna be able to try to figure this out. It's it's amazing to be able to pull this off. I could barely handle playing the game, let alone try to run an entire uh, stream on the side while doing so. Yeah, it's it's a lot of work he's doing and putting in. It. It's really appreciated. And in this match, you know, if they don't line up, it's just because he's actually playing at the same time. So you can't really blame him. <laughs> Not at all. Not a bad opening room uh, for ET right there. And actually, it looks like, yeah, Mr. Dino going to be getting through with the 39. Pretty and nice himself. Getting that orb, though. ET, initial drop. Looking good. All right. Let's see what Dino gets to match that. But orb and rockets to start. That's what you want. This room's looking great. Oh, and Razors, the Vitamin R is starting early on for Dino, and there's the orb for, uh, or sorry, for Mr. Dino finally got the orb. ET go ham getting Rockets and Razors, uh, yeah. and cleans up that room. That's going to be a sub-120 easy. Yeah, 118, that's an excellent time for ET go ham. This orb's going to help Dino not lose too much time, but with the Rocket Razor Shields, you know, he just had the, had the power-ups with him. Ooh, but Mr. Dino coming right back with a 117. Not really actually having the exact same drops. Being able to get it done with just the orb there. Some really good positioning from Dino. Yeah, it just shows you how powerful that orb is. If you get that orb early and you can make those shots line up, you're saving time. You got that double firing rate. Yeah, orb, orb will carry you through uh, Shrapnel here, no problem. Uh, Dino actually getting a little out of line there. He's able to hone it in, get back to center. Looks fine there. ET had the Razor, going to be able to hold center really easily right there. And yeah, right there, right next to two minute for ET Go Ham going into Total Carnage. Very nice. Yeah, 201 coming in, still has the orb, holding the center really nicely, avoiding those shrapnels, ignoring the drops, keeping center. That'll be faster for sure. It keeps your firing lanes more clustered with enemies so you can shoot them faster. And now he's got this spreader looking good for ET. got a key for both players there yeah dealing with the empty drops trying to uh get a pull on something we'll actually take that smart bomb dino getting the razors that'll help very nicely more razors for dino razor shield or more rockets razor shield in the middle this is good for him he's gonna probably catch up a little bit of time here but et's been doing a great job of just holding the center killing these guys so both of them just doing a really good job of uh, maximizing maximizing their kill rates yeah, just a, a low three right there, ET go ham. And based on how Dino's been playing this, a little out of center right there, but cleans it up very nicely. Even a better time here from Dino. That's a sub three on the board. Yeah, Dino able to gain a couple seconds there, and now we got time for some Taco Bell, Taco Bell, product placement with Taco Bell. Decent Taco Bell, too. Very nicely done by both our runners. Dino is, is right there. Um, and both carrying the orb through. Let's see what this first drop for Tank Trouble is for ET. Rockets in the center. That is what you want to see. You can clear out the gunners, gain, gain control of the center of the room, and just, oh, but he dropped the orb. Yeah, it, it got there. It was very close. Did a very nice uh, block on a shrapnel with the orb initially. But yeah, it just got a little squirrely there, unfortunately. Now Dio takes a death. So they've both gotten a little bit trolled in this room. Let's see how it goes. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it does get the spreader there. Yeah, both now looking and yeah, Dino's got to be looking for a weapon here. Finally gets a replacement orb there, but it's going to be stuck in that corner. That's going to happen. Rockets, though. Yeah. Those rockets let him get rid of that gunner. I was going to say he had to get rid of him. Now he's going to be able to control the center, use that nuke, clear everything out, gain control. This is good. So ET won't be carrying an orb into the next room. Did lose that. Uh, Dino lost this, but has the rockets. Might be able to finish out with a clean rocket grab here. We'll have rockets going to the next room. So a little bit of advantage Dino there on the entry. And sub 420 entry, it looks like. Very yep, nice. Yep, 419 there. for Dino there. 423 for ET go ham. This is knock and knock. Absolute dead heat. Awesome to see. Lawbird first drop for ET. That's going to allow at least take out one of the gunners. Probably wants to take out the other. Well... Doesn't quite, but that's not too bad. Does land those shots. 
And then Mr. Dino going for that grenade extra damage picks up a spreader on his feet though, so he's gonna have to manual it, but it looks like he's doing pretty good getting a couple in there. Not all of it, but at least he didn't die. Yeah, played it safe, was able to chain over to the next uh, next couple weapons, uh, lobbers, you, you'll take those. Does get the key, unfortunate right there, but yeah, keeps the lobbers up standing right in front of Mutoid. Mutoid not coming down at him. Yeah, and... doing a really good job there. Uh, now he's got the spreader, let's see if he doesn't get blocked. Oh, Mutoid Complete parks block. right in front of it. Oh, man. It parks in front of it, then parks on it. Does get a second spreader. This will have to be a manual. Uh, they were tied right there. He, he does pop the chest, though, so slight advantage. And unfortunately, Mr. Dino, ah, uh, just kind of gets driven into. That's a t tough angle there to take it. Yeah, ET has been doing a really good job using the wall, bouncing these lobbers off, hitting um, Mutoid right in that sweet spot. It's knock and knock. I mean, we're about a form, less than a form apart right now. Yeah, absolutely crazy. Ooh, that's a great drop, and he has the invulnerability. ET recognizing can't take the death right there. He's going to have to go for a manual. Staying separated, playing it pretty safe. Does get a little bit in there. Not too bad. It does get the final form. Does it get those lobbers, though? Yeah, those lobbers would have been key to get right there. This gives Dino an opportunity with the spreader to catch up, but is it going to oh, be enough? Right yeah, he needs to get one more form here. Unfortunately, yeah. Again, gets shaken to the right there. Oh, ET takes a good. death. This could be the opportunity, but spreader now. It's looking like this might be it. Let's see. ET. Oh, but ET gets run over. Will probably get to these rockets, though. It's going to be very close. He yeah. does get to the final form here. It's Mutoid Mr. Man Dino. is doing everything in his power to give Dino a chance here. This is close. Spreader the parking rocket, on the other it. one. He still has to get some damage. Will probably get it with this spreader. Oh, this is so close. close. He's still going to steal this with the rockets. The spreader. Oh, my God. This is... No, my God, Ichi Oof. pulled it out. Last second with the spreader. I mean, Mewtwo Man did everything, everything in his power to try to make Ichi lose that one. Uh, just, yeah, not the weapons you exactly want to see right there. It just, uh, it, it, that health bar seemed to last forever on that final form. But E.T. Oh, go ahead, able to pull it out with the 702. It looks good. There is a delay here. So this entry is incredibly close, actually. Yeah, we, we got to account for that delay. Time-wise, this is incredibly close. Yeah, yeah. The, th the delay, it looked like it was like a 10-second victory, but no, it's it's within a second. They're within a second of each other. Uh, hmm, this might be worthy. Yeah, Bryceoff, thank you very much. I was about to say, we will have to check this. This was way too close. Um, yeah, exactly. Timing as far as the delay, had to account for that. Uh, did kind of recognize on the timer. I'm like, actually, these times are laying up really close, so this is going to be very interesting. Bryceoff will probably pop in and give us a direct ruling from the official's table. Yeah, like I said, Mutoid Man just trolled E.T. so hard on the last form, killing him like two times, parking on drops. It was intense, and I mean, that's as close as, I mean, it's not as close as it could possibly get, but pretty close. And I mean, I think that's a great example. That was a very back and forth. It seemed like ET was getting some weapons, did take a bat, you know, that right to left movement. It just, he, Mutual Man coming, you know, flying across the screen right there. Um, just, yeah, it just, it, it, the damage just, it seemed like it was so close so many times. I was surprised the Rockets didn't get it and then just kind of getting trolled on the drops how far away they were. But uh, ET able to hang in there. This is just game number one, folks. They, oh, we're in for a wild ride, I feel, between these two runners. Um, we will we will get an official, some confirmation here. Have to make sure it looked like their timers were good as far as the start was uh, was concerned. It was just that natural delay. I think we're actually going to have that synced up more uh, into this second game. So shouldn't have that as a continuous uh, uh, issue for the match. You can see Dino there shaking his head. Yeah, absolutely. Some dropped opportunities. You hate it when you lose the orbit in certain situations. Um, and that tank trouble was was a little tricky for both. Uh, whatever you're having to take to the corner and you know hold on for dear life, that's uh, you know things aren't going quite as good as you want them to. Yeah, so looking ahead tonight, the next match we have is going to be Prince Leaf. He's number three on the speedrun leaderboard with a 523.1 PB, versus Skunky, 16th on the leaderboard with a 544.8. But don't sleep on Skunky. He hasn't played playing this long, and he learns games fast. 
And then I believe after that we have Telia 1 and Sigma Fan. I am not sure if that's actually happening or not, but I'm going to just go on as it is. Um, Telio is fourth with 523.4 and Sigma is in eighth with 532.2. It's about nine second difference in their PBs, so that's going to be a really good one to see. Excellent. And we got an official ruling. Bryant gets us in the channel there. Uh, Itty Go Ham is going to take that by 5.55 seconds, so just a little over a half second there is able to take that down. Uh, it looked like the timers were actually pretty accurate for that. And our runners are getting set up for game number two here. E.T. Goham is going to take that first one. Yeah, I'm going to get them counted in right now. Be sure, folks, if you haven't already, be sure to drop a follow to GG underscore speedruns here. They have been our home for the Smash TV annual tournament, as well as a lot of fun little side events that we have throughout the year. Uh, obviously, you see the, uh, the the wonderful presentation that we have, a uh, wonderful set of commentators and great group of runners, obviously. Uh, make sure that you drop GG underscore speedruns a follow. If you haven't already, they're going to be uh, hosting this for the next uh, you know, good month and a half here. We still have of, of matches. All right, and we got them counted in. Here we go. And it's a lot closer on the timers. This will be a good match. Let's see what happens. Got to imagine the... Uh... The arena one play, you're not going to see too crazy a difference. Sometimes it's interesting to see the, the different strategies. There, there's some slight strategies. Looks like uh, Dinos taking it to the door a little bit more. ET sticking it in the middle. Just kind of letting the Razor uh, hold that center for you. And that will be a nice consistent time regardless. But it looks like Dino will be entering for sure in that sub 40. I think the same for ET Go Ham. It looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, they both got 39 there. That's an even pace. Um... Let's see what their first drops are here. Really determine a lot of the race. All right, we got a spreader for Dino and Razor Shield for E.T. Goham. E.T. Goham's Razor Shield, I think, is a little better, but Rockets here. Um, nuke there, not really helping. Razor Shield, Rockets for Dino, that's what you want to see. Razor Shield for E.T. Goham, both, in, both good. Um, I think Dino's got a little bit better drops going on here. Game's kind of not really giving weapons to E.T. Goham. Yeah, the Razor with the Pea Shooter will do enough for you, but it won't do it like Mr. Dino got right there. Got the Rockets, got the Orb, gets out of there at a 118. Very nice time opening up there. Uh, ET Go Ham going to be getting out at a 126. Not too shabby considering what was dropped there, but going to be looking for that Orb in this room now. That's going to be a difference maker after Shrapnel. Yeah, this Razor Shield will help him out, let him stay center, keep control, but we just are going to be hunting for an Orb, picking up whatever drops you can. You really want to just pick up any drop except a smart bomb to get yourself as many opportunities for an orb drop in this room if you don't have one. You just want to be chasing it. Yeah, ET's got to be kind of annoyed by seeing that smart bomb that completely cuts off like a good good uh, heap of time right there for being able to get a different drop. And another smart bomb. It's not working out right here. ET not getting much. Mr. Dino moving on, though, with the orb into Total Carnage. Yeah, Mr. Dino with a 201. ET Go Ham's 211, about 10 seconds behind, looking for that orb still. So um, he's going to be bleeding time here if it doesn't show up for him soon. Yeah, this room starts to get a pretty wily, pretty out of control if you don't have that. The oh, and he down, takes it down. Happen. Exactly. The grenades over there. It's uh, This has been some rough RNG right here for ET Go Ham. Hopefully it turns around, does get the spread that will help reestablish center. But Razor on the dino side it's looking pretty good for total carnage for mr dino it should yeah. be opening up this lead dino's been getting pretty solid drops not the greatest weapons but the razor shield in the center with the orb you can clear this room in about 52 54 seconds with just that setup yeah absolutely efficient enough firing right there is able to, good and is able to take out that trap it's a little tricky right there especially with the razor shield kind of uh separating you a little bit but is able to handle it gets in there at that at, at three minute time pretty nice there from dino him like getting a, the razor uh, and like a pro lines up the clocks in the bonus room in the middle of his run a true professional on hand multitasking 
like an absolute genius. And there you go, uh, a nice exit. This is looking like a nice tank trouble. Let's see what this first drop is. Grenades, and yeah, unfortunately floats right into him. You really don't want to see that, but gets rockets, a nice replenish right there. And is able to clear the gunners. Nicely done by Dino. Yeah, the game giving you the garbage and then followed right by the, the one you're looking for. I mean, that's how this game goes. It's anything falls, you just use it as best you can. Rockets in the center is always what you're looking for. Yeah, that was that was very well done by Dino. Able to kind of keep cool under having the grenades. It's a you know you get no range on that weapon, um, and is able to collect rockets after that. Probably use this smart bomb. Yeah, he has to kind of hold on. Does get it. Um, unfortunately, ET still not getting anything. An invulnerability to open up the room. Was able to clear one gunner, but yeah, he's getting stuck in the corner here. Yeah, and Dino with a 409 went into Mewtwo. Wow. Man, you just see with that that orb against no orb with a death there. It's it's just you run away with the with race at that point. Finally, a little something for ET here. Does get rockets as uh, Dino's opening the room here. Invulnerability for Dino, so not the greatest opening drop. Does finally get the orb on ET's side, though. Um, oh. The gunner just took down Dino. Let's see if the game gives him a good drop here. A foot, so nothing he can use. He can just take the pea shooter at these uh, gunners until he gets these lobbers here and see what kind of damage he can do. Still got one gunner on the front. Yeah, you'll take the lobbers, not bad at all. Does get both gunners, does pop an arm there. Looking pretty decent with the shot. Trying to land it in that sweet spot, that uh, shaded area between your, uh, your upper and lower brown uh, spots on Mutoid there. Very nice. Uh, does pop the second arm as ET starts off the room. Does have spreader though. We'll get a little manual here. The automatic manual, as, as you might want to say. Yeah, and I mean, that's the move to do there. Mutoid doesn't shake there at the beginning. You can stand right next to him and get that exploit damage. But uh, each go ham having a, about a 39 second deficit to overcome. It's going to be a tall ask for him to come take this back. Yeah, got to have a spreader drop. Got to have the drops dry up for Dino right here, too, because he's getting some consistent damage, has been in those lobbers. Will use the grenades and gets the final form already here. Dino looking good to take game two. Yeah, I mean, as long as things keep going this way, Dino's pretty much run away with this race. Um, I don't see it turning the other way. Yeah, that was, it, it's been a harsh one. You know, obviously those drops not working out for ET, but uh, nothing to sneeze at as far as Dino's play right there. Played it very, very well, using that orb, keeping it, and uh, really sniping the drops as they come. Sub six minute. Beautiful. Yeah. You Beautiful will take time. that. Yeah. Sub you six in a tournament. Everything. That's a great time. Great play for uh, Dino that run. Keeping the orb the whole run, keeping his composure. Just that's what you want to see. Yeah, as Brian points out, yeah, sub six, no spreader. Just landing those lob shots. Very nicely done by Dino. I mean, a sub six with no spreader is no joke, too. It took me months to get one of those to land. It, it's really, the spreader really gives you a lot of extra damage, you know, compared to anything else. So doing that without a spreader is really impressive. Yeah, you need a little bit of cooperation, obviously, for the drops and Mutoid to get you, get you at least some lobbers, some grenades in there. You're not getting stuff like, the, you know, there's a bunch of rockets or, or feet as uh, we get ET uh, just trying to finish up this room. And vulnerability, yeah, the dead drops. Just let me finish the game. And there's a great spreader drop if this was like a form before. And then, unfortunately, yeah, right to left. Some quick movement from Mutoid. Just going to keep this run going for a little bit longer. One yeah, move. Mutoid's just been playing et go ham so dirty these last two matches just with these quick runovers and all that but finally able to take him out with the lobbers there and he's going to put up a 1720 something 720 something yeah that's one you just all right done on to the next one you you understand if you're et go ham that those drops didn't give you much of an opportunity. The only thing that you could hope for is that Mr. Tino got equally bad luck and you're both kind of struggling there. That's a, that's about it. You know when you have, uh, for, for as good of a runner as E.T. Goham is, um, yeah, you put up that time against a, a player like Mr. Dino. Yeah, that's the only thing you'd really hope for is some really rough luck. But like you said, I mean, the game's just cruel to you sometimes. You just got to, like, brush that one off, go out for the next one, and uh, try to forget about it. That's what I tried to do yesterday. I tried to shake it off. I, I had some bad play in the first couple, couple of my games. Did shake it off. Finally got a got a didn't get completely swept yesterday. But uh, but yeah, RNG just ended up taking our set uh, yesterday. 
um, in a in a in a great trio of matchups that we had yesterday, and uh, following with another great trio today. It's it's a great time in the Super Smash TV community. This the tourney time is the best. All right, we're just gonna give our runners a couple minutes here to uh, get themselves ready for the next race, and then I'll get them counted in. Oh, is that the Tapu Cheek? Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, see, Mr. Dido is fueled by the good stuff right there. Um, so I, I, I'm not surprised that uh, he took that game, game two. He's uh, he has that good drink with him. So let's see what happens. Game number three here. If we're going by my predictions, I'm thinking ET potentially taking game three here, and Dino will, will even us up game four. But we'll see. Yeah, I mean, this is so even. I'm just going to go with Dino on this one because just Mutoy's just been playing ET so dirty. He gives, he takes, he mostly takes, but every now and then he gives. Uh, we'll see for game number three. And yeah, we are perfectly lined up and both getting their Razor, of course. See how this Arena 1 turns out. So yeah, in this room, you like to just use your razor shield every once in a while, take out large clusters of these guys, kind of try to stay center though. So you have your four direct firing lanes and just clear the room, standard procedure. Yeah, the only thing that's strange, ET, for some reason, I, I, I'm not too sure why ET has 61,000 there. I've never seen that score coming out of the room one. Not too sure what exactly happened there, but uh... Here we go on to, on to room two. Let's see what power-ups drop. Orb starting out for E.T. Gohan. Very nice. And Orb for Dino. Well, it's evened up. Let's go. This is what you want to see. Even drops for the players. This is just now who's going to use them the best, have some skill. Let's see what they do with them. Razor shield for E.T. Gohan. That's going to be great. Just control the center spreader for uh, Dino. Both good drops. E.T.'s going to take it, though, with a 121. Dino right behind with a 123, two seconds apart. That's a big nothing. Let's see what happens next. Yeah, you can just see just that little bit of extra help you get from having that Razor, a little bit better kill power, a little bit better control perhaps. Both getting grenades to start off here. Don't want to see that. So, uh, yeah, we'll just have to keep it with the orb. Dino, like, moving around, though. He's flying around the arena trying to actually pull these drops a little bit. ET more or less just kind of leaving them alone, just kind of naturally letting them come up. Um, Razor on Dino's side it doesn't matter much though. It's the end of the room for these guys. All right, and ET Goham coming out with a 204, Dino with a 206. Both played the rooms. No one lost any time. How's total card? Oh, that got squirrely. Yeah. Uh, upper right corner. ET Ham let a green shirt stay alive. That green shirt takes the orb. Oh, that's a hard way to start out this room. Yeah, ET especially Goham. with the razor shield drop. And now Dino getting one too. So now Dino's razor shield and an orb. ET Goham burning his orb, trying or burning his shield, trying to get an orb. Get some spreaders. Rockets for Dino. Just that's just sick. Yeah, rockets gets the spreader. It's going to keep this going. Yeah, going for those drops, going after those drops, trying to pull something. Getting uh, getting keys, unfortunately. We don't need those games. Uh, yeah. Rockets, though, ET Ham going to be able to, and gets another rocket, needs those rockets to be able yeah. to keep up without the orb. With no orb, you just got to ride these rocket drops, hope for the best. If the game keeps giving them to you, you can minimize the time you're going to bleed. But you can see Dino just took the lead. That orb in the Razor Shield really helped him out. And uh, ET Goham not far behind with a 308. And here we go. We get an official. This is our second of the match. Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Product placement with Taco Bell. Fire sauce for fire times. ET Ham going a little leaf strat right there. Uh, trying to pick up some presents. Hope that works out. But hopefully you get a better drop than what Dino got right there. Unfortunately, shoes way up top and like... One of the worst positions you could have that. So it doesn't go for those. Does get rockets, so ET is going to be able to do some work against these gunners. And Dino leaving both gunners running around like a madman, not getting hit by anything, dodging everything Matrix style. Man, 
that's just some good play there. He had to run all around to make it happen. Still not losing he's the dancing. orb. He's Kenny dancing Rockets. on the floor. Look at that. Very well done. Dido getting back to center somehow, some way with the orb healthy. Very nicely done. And E.T. Gohan fumbling that orb. I mean, it helped him catch up a little, but I mean, man, you really needed that. Oh no! Oh, and the leaf at it! Leaf it's at there, it. And he tried to go between, and he knows it. You see him throw his hand up. I feel yes. his pain. I feel his pain personally. Yeah. There it is. It happens to the best of us. Uh, but yeah. Uh, with the orb, too, you know, it's just got to be kicking yourself on that one. But does get lobber. This will help out initially. Does uh, start out the room here. Ichigo Ham with a 438 coming back. About 30 seconds behind, maybe not quite 30 seconds behind. Um, so, again, he's going to have a tall ask here to catch up to Dino. Hopefully the game gives him something good. Grenades to start out. Grenades into lobbers. Oh, no. And that oh, yeah. swirl is angry. He gives him the lobbers, but before the swirl, which is really a big... Um, it's, it's really hard to kill that swirl with the lobbers. So, it just takes your best weapon and makes it... Oh. Uh, penalty for you oh but he gets the invo the death was beautiful he gets that one so he gets into the spread this is going to catch him right back up oh unfortunately takes a death though he had some manual action to do right there unfortunately loses it well now both the arms popped on each goes ham side about a form maybe a form and a half behind dino um dino's got the chest popped about to get the head to pop here both of them waiting for drops both of them getting lobbers Oh, and the quick laser. Yeah, he was just in that far spot right there. But look at the spreader that popped up. From the worst to the best move you could have possibly had. This game, giving them both oh, spreaders, equal drops, both flobbers. This is like they're playing the same game. They're getting the same drops. <laughs> Close to it. I think E.T. gets a little sabotage there. I think he got some grenades on the feet when he should have been continuing with the spreader there. Final form, though, for Mr. Dino. E.T. a couple forms back. Lobbers. Ooh, this is looking pretty good yeah, for Dino right here. drops are just going to be the nail in the coffin for E.T. Go Ham. I mean, if he would have got a couple drops while well, Dino had empties, he could have maybe got a, caught some ground up. But it's looking like Dino's going to probably run away with this one right here. Yeah, Dino was missing some shots there, but did get a refill on the Lobbers. Is going to be able to take it. And we'll take game number three to go up 2-1 against E.T. Go Ham. Real close there, obviously, just coming down to a couple drops. And uh, unfortunately, E.T. not able to. Uh, that was a, that was a great spreader drop that unfortunately got uh, grenade sabotage there. Yeah, unfortunately for E.T. Go Ham, whenever he got an opportunity, like a spreader drop or a nice lobber drop or anything, the game gave the exact same thing to Dino, meaning he really couldn't use it to catch up. It's like ET, yeah, gonna finish up, gonna be a little bit over a seven, it looks like right here. Uh, just about a 630, or just under a 630, I should say, for Mr. Dino. Um, yeah, it, 630, not too bad. Uh, be enough to uh, take some races for you for sure. So Mr. Dino being able to close that out very nicely. Uh, we will see a very nice, uh, that, was a, that was a fun run given that uh, both our both our players had the opportunity there, uh, getting that orb early. Uh, makes it makes it pretty fun to see how fast they fly through this thing. Yeah, I mean, like we said, these are going to be even matches tonight. Dino just had that orb, was able to keep it longer. Ichigo Ham took a couple deaths, and that was the difference in the match. So... 2-1 right here. Mr. Dino will be on match point for this game number four. Uh, I mean, I went with him. I went with him last game. I think I got to stick to it. Uh, I'm thinking, and I predicted we go five. So ET go ham is my prediction for game number four here to uh, even us up and and take us to a pretty thrilling finale for our first match. Yeah, I feel like the game can only troll you so many times in a row, and I know that's not true. But I feel like Ichigo Ham's going to get a little bit better luck this time. So I'm just waiting on these runners here to ready up, and then we will get them counted in and get our next match, our next run underway. And uh, be sure, if you haven't already, be sure to drop these, uh, these, these runners here a follow as well. Mr. Dino, I know going on his... Uh, 
exploration of the SNES library and, and tackling as many games as he possibly can. E.T. Go Ham has an extensive list of uh, of games that he excels at. So be sure to check out both these runners. I'm sure, you know, obviously doing a little tourney prep as well. So if you want to see some more Smash TV content, probably check them out for that as well. All right, and here we go. Clocks are synced up. Both runners are ready. And uh, we're going to start our next one here. So again, yeah, both runners getting that Razor Shield. Um, hanging out in the center, trying to make sure you don't pick up that nuke. The little um, time penalty that usually likes to troll you in the middle. But Yeah, and I think, yeah, it's... Uh... When it, when it happens right in the center, it's just so annoying. It's just like, get out of my way. I... <laughs> so, Ichigo Ham with a, maybe a 39, maybe a 40. Dino maybe less than a second behind him. They're, they're just about a second apart. Another Search. first drop orb Oof. here for Ichigo Ham. Razor Shield for uh, Dino. Both good drops, but Ichigo Ham's going to be able to melt this room a little bit faster now getting a razor shield as well so looking like he's got the advantage here yeah dino will use that effectively obviously just kind of running the razor shield and his invulnerability shield just right into the door pathways uh try to take him down actually so look yeah, at this a one wow. 118 flat going in to eat my shrapnel great time for et go ham and uh dino trailing behind without that orb at a 127 so about it's nine to ten sec, nine second lead for E.T. Goham here. Yeah, you know, and, and Dino shaking his head. I understand, obviously, not getting the drops. You want to see better. Pretty much not much better you can do with what the drops he had gotten right there. Does get a spreader that will help, but takes the death, but gets the orb here. Should be able to pick up this drop. So uh, Dino won't be losing too much here, and we'll have some equipment, uh, equivalent firepower. Yeah, as long as he's able to keep these shrapnels under control now with the orb, he should have... Not bleed very much time. Maybe bled like part of a second there, but nothing, nothing major. You take the trade for getting that orb, so uh, not too bad there. Et opening up again. Just ah, this this room, this opening of the room, giving Et some trouble. Having the orb and rockets does get a replacement. And Dino though. gets a, a razor shield and the orb. Now this is his opportunity to uh, catch up. Half of his razor shield getting eaten by that shrapnel, but still half a razor shield in the center is pretty good to have. Oh, no, but we have the foot soldier getting through the bottom there. Didn't have a full razor shield. He seeks through, but he gets a replacement. They get these immediate orb replacements. Yeah, all these orb drops, man. That's that's what you want to see. You want to see if you drop that thing, you get another one so fast. Sometimes it doesn't come back the whole game. So both of them pretty lucky getting multiple orb drops here. Now rockets for E.T. Goham just melting this room. Well, Dino's still sitting in the center with this one razor shield and uh, the pea shooter. So E.T. Goham able to get a three flat going into um, the bonus room solid time. Yeah, you know, given everything right there, got to be pretty relieved that you get a time like that. And Dino, you know, sub 310 going into the room as well for our uh, third now. Taco Bell, Taco Bell product placement with Taco Bell. All right, E.T. Goham coming into tank trouble. Let's see what the game gives him here. Spreader in the center. That's a pretty decent drop. Should be, should be able to take out one gunner like he just did. Clear out the room. Razor Shield will let him clear out the second one and gain control. Good work there with what he got. And now Rockets to as a bonus for playing that room great. I mean, this is, this is way better than his luck in the last couple games. Yeah, you know, getting those Rockets and, and just letting them fly. He would just rapid firing in all four of the cardinal directions right there unfortunately dino losing it right there does take down one of the gunners does use that invulnerability he's going to try to get back to center does get the spreader so that'll help out as well but ham looked real good and gets a great tank trouble he's going to be getting out sub 410 yeah 408 for ichigo ham doing a great job melting that room and just showing you like when you get the drops compared to not getting the drops how much more time you can really get absolutely let's see what the opening is for ham does the rockets they'll probably yeah that'll be a gunner clear good decision there unfortunately gets lasered but not the worst thing we'll probably yeah should get to these yeah things. that laser actually was good let him get that lobber drop so this game is crazy sometimes you die it ends up being better for you than you would ever think 
Oh, here's a spreader after my death. That's fantastic. Who knew? <laughs> uh, Lobbers there for Mr. Dino is going to uh, just looking for the damage, trying to hit that sweet spot immediately. Not too concerned. Yeah, Dino really playing with those gunners a decent amount, but uh, does get an arm pop there. So even on oh, but he needs a good spreader right here. This is his chance to gank up some time. Yeah, opposite side, but oh, and there's the gunners that play again though. They've got him twice now. Yeah, Still wasn't really able bother. to get a lot out of that. Here's another spreader for him. Gonna have to manual this one. Still both gunners on there. Oh, and they dropped oh. the invulnerability and ran him over. What a troll. That's absolutely crushing right there. That is the drop you want to see, even though it's all the way on the right side. That would have helped that spreader a lot. We'll now take out the gunners. I am tired of dealing with you guys, says Mr. Dino. Well, now they're both on the same form, but E.T. Goham getting the spreader here. He will be able to get it, and he'll probably pull a form ahead here, if not two. Um, Ooh, great work. Oh. And he can get it. This is this is looking good for E.T. Spreader for Dino here on the wrong side. He's going to have to manual this one, but E.T. in the final form with that great spreader move there. Yeah, that was that was phenomenal. It worked out very well. Final form for E.T. And you see, yeah, Mr. Dino frustrated. Uh, just doesn't get that drop. Uh, does get lobbers. We'll pull a little bit. Yeah, but unfortunately, there you go. And E.T. swinging up very nicely. Giving, giving E.T. Goham actual drops on the last form able to get out of here in a 6 12 6 13 great time for him great match and uh yeah that's what he needed to do man he, this was it he's on the line so there we go we go to five for our first match everybody let's go and dino you know just finishing up here with these lobbers he he put up a valiant effort but the game just it's not just the drops you get, but it's the location of the drop as well. And the game kept giving him spreaders, but just not in the right spots to give him the amount that he could use to catch up. So with that, he just trailed behind, and E.T. Goham was able to run away with that victory. And that's how it goes. Yeah, that's just it. it that just kind of comes down to mutoids and drops. Um, some unfortunate movement. Like, yeah, he... He just had it out for Mr. Dino right there. Uh, decided that I don't want you to be able to do any of these manuals. I am just going to drive into you. So uh, rough go there. Um, Dino probably not happy with that one. I saw him shaking his head, but uh, only so much you could do right there. Still a decent run. But E.T. Goham will take game number four and set us to five to decide the matchup. Winner will stay in the upper bracket here. Uh loser of this one will unfortunately be dropped down but obviously still in this tournament as a double elimination so uh gonna be a very very strong competitor no matter who it is for that lower bracket oh definitely moving on to these next round we're gonna have nothing but just no hold bar drudge matches everybody's gonna be up against somebody that's able to take them down and it's gonna it's gonna be a lot more competitive a lot tighter matches I'm excited to see what happens in the next rounds. Yeah, I think uh, I think Bryce said it best yesterday. There's nowhere to hide in this bracket. You, you you want an easy you want an easy go through bracket. Good luck. You'll need it because you're not getting it here. Uh, it is it is a uh, it is it is killers left and right. So uh, this will this will be a, a, a very interesting decider to see who goes both. Both been playing very well, I gotta say. Very, very few mistakes. A little, you know, maybe some nerves. You know, obviously you're doing a doing tourney match, and it's coming down. It's now to it. If the, the nerves are ramped up, it's gonna be right now. Um, and we'll see how both perform here as we get into game number five, match number one of the evening. Let's go. All right, game number five about to start. Everything's on the line here. Well, not everything. There is a second chance bracket, but this is gonna, this is the decider. So both of them are gonna probably feel the pressure. Let's see what happens. Winner of this matchup will be facing off against the winner of our next match happening right after this. So some enticing enticing things uh in play here on on a friday and again standard first room both of them just cleaning it up nicely 39 for both of them just maybe close to 40 39 i think for both of them though all right let's see how this room treats them 
and a first drop orb for Dino. First drop orb for Dino. Oh, and him wow. oh, can get it, but he kept it together, gets the Razor Shield. All right, we'll be able to reestablish the center there. So even footing just about a little bit of uh, favorite, I suppose, to ET go ham there. But the spreader there for Dino won't be too bad either. So not too yeah. bad. I mean, this is pretty, pretty dead even. I mean, 118, 120. Both of them have an orb. It's what you like to see. And there you go. Both getting, oh, that swirl getting a little close for ET, but is able to get it. Um, does have four on the board just slightly, but I don't think loses any time due to that. It looks pretty clean, both with razors, both with orb. This will be an easy eat my shrapnel for both. Yeah, I believe if you can kill that fourth shrapnel fast enough before the next one was supposed to spawn, you don't lose any time, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It seems like there's a little gap in the in the spawn rate, so I think they're think think you're pretty good there if you're ET go ham, but we'll see. Yeah, and the, and the difference didn't change right there. Let's see this opening. ET go ham's been uh, uh yeah, not quite and does clean up the uh Cleans up everybody, all the foot soldiers that time. Doesn't lose that orb. All right, right Rockets versus Razor Shield. So both good drops. Rockets will let Dino clear out the room while ET Go Ham can just control the center, getting a spreader. It's looking good for ET Go Ham here. Spreader for Dino. So they're both getting weapons. They're both got a nuke there. This is pretty even. Just that Razor Shield's going to let ET melt a, a few extra guys than uh, Dino can. Yeah, ET. Uh able to get that little bit of advantage i suppose with that razor shield but uh dino doing very well with some firing lines unfortunately yeah it starts getting a little squirrely and then yeah these nukes getting right there in the center unfortunately oh the foot soldier clips it and yeah he's gonna to be in disgust and take that smart bomb unfortunately but is right there very close on the time sub three for et go ham just over a three for mr dino and that brings us to another taco bell taco bell Product placement with Taco Bell. Let's get ourselves a tasty Baja Blast as we go into Tank Trouble. Less than two seconds. Unfortunately, yeah, without the orb, Mr. Dino will be able to move a little bit freer, I suppose, going into TT. So let's see what happens. Invulnerability does not help for ET Go Ham there. Right. And Mr. Dino with grenades taking them. Since he doesn't have an orb, he's just running up there and killing those gunners. A good move with you when you don't have the orb. Now, E.T. Goham fumbling the orb, so this is the opportunity Dino needs to maybe get some time. Yeah, an immediate death and then fumbled the, the replacement orb. I think I dropped more or less on the feet right there. It was a scramble. Does have the rockets, but I think, oh, man, these drops are rough right now. This is a typical tank trouble right here. Yeah, both of them are having to dance around a lot to avoid these um, swarmers. E.T. Goham getting some rockets. That'll help him out. Dino taking a death, but there's a spreader for him. Oh, the, the line's getting a little squirrely. Was he able to have those rockets? Does it have racers, so ET will be able to get reestablished in the center. Oh, and Dino getting Dino. tank 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 uh, shot him. The razor shield for ET Goham. He's going to run away with this room. And he got a 424 going into uh, Mutoid Man. Dino is going to probably have these rockets to clean up. That'll take him to the end of the room. But he's going to be about oh. nine seconds behind. It's about one drop, though, so it's still anybody's game. It's very much anybody's game. Uh, Dino shaking his head, I know, because, yeah, he, he was getting swung he on the end. Was getting... With the oh. manual and the spreader drop. This is a great start. Can he get it? And he does. does. Dino taking a death with the lobber. Ichigo Ham getting all that spreader damage. He's going to get both the arms popped off right here, and he's just he's out in the lead now. Oh, yeah, and that's an unfortunate, but that's a great spreader for Dino. He gets a comeback. Oh, baby, that's coming back. All right, here we go. It is, uh, right. Dino will be able to do some Dino 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 really. Oh, this is going to catch him right up, and E.T. Goham taking a death, and this will catch him right up. Now they're brought in the same form, but E.T. Goham still has gunners. So those Dino gunners. Dino head here. All right, and he does. He pulls ahead. Yeah, E.T. Goham was able to clear those gunners, which will help him out, but that was wasting time. He didn't have a weapon. 
Oh. He's falling behind, and there's another spreader and another oh, and another spreader. And he's, oh my God, Dino's getting the drop there. Oh, he grabs it. That oh, was so that was like last pixel or something. And he's in final form, got a lot of transfer damage. He should be able to clean it up with this last, last refill for Spreader. That should take him all the way through. And oh my goodness, what a rally right there from Mr. What Dino. What a fight. Beautiful. Absolutely phenomenal. Clutched out, got that Spreader drop. Oh my and a goodness. 602. And I mean, oh. ET don't have not doing a bad job on uh, this fight. No, but really you, not. You just can't, you can't, um, can't handle that. You can't battle against against three spreaders. Like it's not gonna happen. Yeah, you can't affect the other players' drops. Dino taking advantage of, uh, yeah, just crazy time. He had the spreader drop onto his feet, so he had to go for a manual, but then immediately into a great. Spreader drop after that was able to take advantage and will clean this game up. Still getting a nice time there of a 644, looks like. And And, uh, but 6.02 will take it for Mr. Dino getting game five and taking the match.